Hello guys, it's me MP back with another video. Today I will be going over a rehash on the sizes of Carcharodon angustidens and Carcharodon chubutensis. I've debunked all arguments against these estimates and have beaten down everybody on this, so I am only free reign to educate you people. I will also be addressing my Megalodon reconstruction in this same video too. With all that said, please enjoy the video. So, first of all, let us start with Carcharodon angustidens, a very underrated large shark. Most size estimates for these species suggest the maximum size is only 13.5 meters max, but I found evidence they can reach even greater sizes based on larger teeth. First of all, we have this 5-inch Carcharodon angustidens tooth which is about 3.76 inches wide. This is a monster tooth which would get very large sizes. Scaling from this tooth we get 15.1 meters assuming it's an A1 tooth. This is quite a monstrous size. At that length it would be about 52 tons scaling from Jack Cooper's model which is the most accurate model to date, and the Shimada one is inaccurate do not chat to me. Oh yeah, just for context here are a bunch of Carcharodon chubutensis dentition so we can judge the placements of each Carcharodon angustidens teeth. Now, yes see, angustidens and see, chubutensis are different sharks, but they're similar enough to where the same dental formula and regression would be used. Here is the regression of Carcharodon chubutensis which can also be used for Carcharodon angustidens. Anterior 2 and anterior 3 are 7% wider than anterior 1, with lateral 1 being 4% wider than anterior 1 and lateral 2 and lateral 3 being 5% wider than anterior 1. We also have this 4.71 inch long or tall Carcharodon angustidens tooth which is about 3.96 inches wide. This is a particularly monstrous tooth too. If we assume this tooth is A1, which it obviously is just like the previous tooth, we get 16 meters. This is quite a monstrous size. Very large and rare for the C. angustidens species. At that weight it would be about 62 tons which is very heavy. That makes it the same size as an average megalodon. We also have this 5 12 inch long or tall Carcharodon angustidens tooth 2 and it is about 4.07 inches wide. This is quite a monstrous tooth. If we assume this tooth is A1, which it obviously is just like the other two previous teeth, we get 16.4 meters. This is quite a monster sized specimen. Very large. At that length it would be 67 tons. This is quite impressive for these species. We also have this 5.23 inch long or tall Carcharodon angustidens tooth 2 and it is about 4.48 inches wide. This is once again a very huge tooth. If we assume this is an A2 or A3 tooth we get about 16.5 meters long. This is freakishly large. At that length it would be 68 tons. This is also quite impressive for these species. This shows how large these sharks can get. We also have this 4.5 inch long or tall Carcharodon angustidens tooth 2 and it is about 3.65 inches wide. This is once again a very huge tooth. It isn't as big as the other teeth, but it's still big nonetheless. If we assume this tooth is A1, which it obviously is, we get 14.6 meters. This is quite a monster sized specimen. Very large for these species. At that length it would be 47 tons. This is also quite impressive for these species. This shows how large these sharks can get. We also have this 4.54 inch long or tall Carcharodon angustidens tooth 2 and it is about 3.8 inches wide. This is once again a very huge tooth. It isn't the biggest tooth ever, but it's still big nonetheless. And yes this tooth lacks cusplets, but the morphological features are too distinct to be megalodon. Since this is an A1 tooth we get about 15.23 meters long. This is freakishly large for these species as well. At that length it would be 54 tons. 
This is also quite impressive for these species, and let's remember it's not the largest specimen I showed and yet it is already bigger than the largest Liviatan which was only 14 meters and 41 tons. So we can conclude that the maximum sizes of Carcharodon angustidans is 16.5 meters and 68 tons which is quite huge. Now that we are done with Carcharodon angustidans, let's move on to Carcharodon chubutensis because this part is very important. Most estimates for these species suggest the maximum size is only 13.5 to 14 meters max, but I found evidence they can reach even greater sizes based on the largest teeth ever. We also have this 4.95 inch long or tall Carcharodon chubutensis tooth which is about 4.06 inches wide. This is a particularly monstrous tooth too. If we assume this tooth is A1, which it obviously is, we get 16.4 meters. This is quite a monstrous size. Very large and rare for the C. chubutensis species. At that weight it would be about 67 tons which is very heavy. We also have this 4.8 inch long or tall Carcharodon chubutensis tooth which is about 3.96 inches wide. This is another monstrous tooth too. Since this tooth is A1 we get 15.9 meters. This is quite a monstrous size. Very large and rare for chubutensis. At that weight it would be 61 tons. We also have this 4.97 inch long or tall C. chubutensis tooth which is about 4.14 inches wide. This is a monstrous tooth as well. This tooth is A1, so we get 16.9 meters. This is quite a monstrous size. Very large and rare for the chubutensis species. At that weight it would be 73 tons. This is an impressive size. This isn't even the largest Chubutensis tooth and it's already bigger than the largest Angustidans. We also have this 5.25 inch long or tall C. Chubutensis tooth which is about 4.25 inches wide. This is also a very monstrous tooth too. This tooth is A1, so we get 17 meters. This is quite a monstrous size. Very large and an extremely rare for the Chubutensis species. At that weight it would be 75 tons. This is an impressive size. This shows that Chubutensis while not as large as Megalodon is still quite big. We also have this 5.22 inch long or tall C. Chubutensis tooth which is about 4.1 inches wide. This is also a very monstrous tooth too. This tooth is A1, so we get 16.5 meters. This is quite a monstrous size. Very large and an extremely rare for the Chubutensis species. At that weight it would be 68 tons. This is an impressive size. Megalodon got way larger, but this is still big on its own. We also have this 4.67 inch long or tall Chubutensis tooth which is about 3.91 inches wide. This is also a very monstrous tooth too. This tooth is A1, so we get 15.7 meters. This is quite a monstrous size. Very large and an extremely rare for the Chubutensis species. At that length it would be 59 tons. This is an impressive size. Megalodon got way larger, but this is still big on its own. We also have this 5.12 inch long or tall Chubutensis tooth which is 4.26 inches wide. This is also a very monstrous tooth too. We get 17 meters based on this tooth. This is quite a monstrous size. Very large and an extremely rare for the Chubutensis species. At that length it would be 75 tons. This is an impressive size. Megalodon got way larger at 20.3 meters and 127 tons, but this is still big on its own. We also have this 5.44 inch long or tall Chubutensis tooth which is 4.216 inches wide. This is also a very monstrous tooth too. We get 17 meters based on this tooth. This is quite a monstrous size. Very large and an extremely rare for the Chubutensis species.
At that length it would be 75 tons. This is an impressive size. Megalodon got way larger at 20.3 meters and 127 tons, but this is still big on its own. We also have this 5.5 inch long or tall tributensis tooth which is 4.46 inches wide. This is also a very monstrous tooth too. We get 17 meters based on this tooth since it is L1. This is quite a monstrous size. Very large and an extremely rare for the tributensis species. At that length it would be 75 tons. Imagine that thing in the water. We also have this 5.31 inch long or tall tributensis tooth which is 4.08 inches wide. This is also a very monstrous tooth too. We get 16.4 meters based on this tooth since it is L1. This is quite a monstrous size. Very large and an extremely rare for the tributensis species. At that weight it would be about 67 tons which is very heavy. We also have Kent et al. 1994 documenting a group of Max 5.5 inch C tributensis teeth with cusplets. Depending on their width and placement, they could get sizes from 16 to 18 meters long. We also have this 5.56 inch long or tall tributensis tooth, which is 4.46 inches wide. This is also an extremely monstrous tooth too. We get 17 meters based on this tooth since it is L1. This is quite a monstrous size. Very large and an extremely rare for the tributensis species. At that weight it would be about 75 tons which is very heavy. So basically the maximum size for C. tributensis would be 17 meters and 75 tons, while the maximum size for C. angustidens would be 16.5 meters and 68 tons. While not as large as the megalodon, they were still quite big. Now that I finished going over a rehash on the sizes of angustidens and tributensis, I will now be addressing my megalodon reconstruction. Enjoy! So, first of all, I based my reconstruction heavily on the original classic bulky megalodon reconstruction. The only tweak I did was make it black really, but overall, it's pretty much the same. The reason why the body is so bulky is because it would make more sense ecologically. A gigantic shark would need a gigantic stomach in order to commonly dine on 10 to 14 meter whales. The jaws had to be very robust too. Here is a comparison of my megalodon reconstruction next to a great white shark so you can see th obvious differences. And trust me, the differences are still obvious even from the dorsal views. To compensate for its large size the megalodon needed a very robust build. It would have had multiple ecological advantages with those muscles. Also, more robust jaws would mean more crushing power. It makes sense for megalodon's jaws to be quite robust. After all, their teeth are a lot thicker than those of the great white shark, which has a lot of correlations to jaw thickness. So, the jaws would have to be very robust in order to support large dentition. In fact even Gottfried et al. 1996 suggested Megalodon to have significantly more robust jaws than the modern-day great white shark proportionally. So, it's good I maintained this feature for my own reconstruction. I even created a skeletal for my megalodon reconstruction. But note there are issues that need to be fixed when the time comes. Nonetheless, I thought I would show it right now because I think it looks pretty good. Also, the claimed skinny megalodon would be more hydrodynamically efficient than the bulky megalodon is simply objectively not true. Plus, the claim bulkier equals slower only works if we assume the bulky megalodon is fat. But we are assuming it's muscular which disproves Shimada's stupid claim. Shimada kept ignoring that he was operating under the assumption bulky megalodon was fat, 
which is why it resulted into his trash calculation showing elongated megalodon would move faster. If we calculate it correctly assuming the bulky megalodon is muscular this disproves Shimada's argument. This is what he kept ignoring. And the reason why my megalodon is black is because it makes more sense ecologically. Underwater it would blend in quite well from the deep, stalking its prey. It would have added a lot of advantages in hunting whales. I plan on other future projects like why I don't agree with current consensus on megalodon evolution and the elongated build. But for now this will be my last megalodon video temporarily. If you liked th video please like and subscribe for more content, but for now peace and have a good day people. Se come un vegano, que salga con el flor.